Hello and welcome back to a new video. Ever wondered how the iconic First Ladies of the United States spent their final days? Well, let's take a quick tour through history. Martha Washington, Dolly Madison, Mary Todd Lincoln, Jackie Kennedy, and Eleanor Roosevelt all had unique stories. These remarkable women faced the inevitable with courage and grace, leaving behind legacies that continue to inspire. We will explore their final days in the order of their passing. This is the story of how the First Ladies of the United States met their end. When I first met General Washington, he was Colonel Washington. Martha Washington, known as the steadfast first First Lady of the United States, passed away on May 22, 1802. She met her end due to a severe fever that struck her down in her home at Mount Vernon. Martha was revered for her unwavering support of her husband, George Washington, during the turbulent years of the American Revolution and the early days of the Republic. Despite the harsh conditions, Martha's resilience and grace set the tone for future First Ladies. Her legacy is a testament to the strength and fortitude of America's founding women. First Lady Dolly Madison brought the political elite together by throwing the best parties in town. Dolly Madison, famous for her vibrant social life and heroic actions during the War of 1812, left us on July 12, 1849. She suffered a stroke or cerebral hemorrhage, bringing an end to her impactful life. Dolly is best remembered for saving the iconic portrait of George Washington from the burning White House. Her charm and political savvy made her a beloved figure in Washington society, forever cementing her place in American history. was more fearful of a Lincoln defeat than his wife, now known by Lincoln staff as Her Satanic Majesty. Mary Todd Lincoln, the spirited and enigmatic wife of Abraham Lincoln, remains a figure of profound interest. Known for her tumultuous life and unwavering support of her husband during the Civil War, Mary Todd's later years were marked by tragedy and decline. Following the assassination of President Lincoln in 1865, Mary Todd struggled with her mental health and financial instability. She lost three of her four children, adding to her immense grief. Eventually, she succumbed to a stroke on July 16, 1882, at the age of 63, while staying at her sister's house in Springfield, Illinois. 
Her life, filled with both grandeur and heartbreak, leaves a legacy that continues to captivate historians and the public alike. Caroline Harrison, the wife of President Benjamin Harrison, succumbed to tuberculosis and influenza on October 25, 1892. Caroline was a devoted advocate for women's rights and education. As First Lady, she brought significant renovations to the White House and was instrumental in the founding of the National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Her dedication to progress and improvement left an indelible mark on the nation's capital. I try my best to support my husband any way I can. I do also talk to him about issues that need to be acted on. Ellen Wilson, born Ellen Louise Axon, was the first wife of President Woodrow Wilson, serving as the First Lady from 1913 until her untimely death in 1914. Ellen was known for her deep commitment to social causes, particularly in the realm of housing reform for the poor. Her passion for the arts and her efforts to improve living conditions in the slums of Washington, D.C. left a significant mark on the Capitol. Lou Hoover, the wife of President Herbert Hoover, died of a heart attack on January 7, 1944. Lou was a trailblazer in many ways, being the first First Lady to deliver a radio address to the American people. Her keen interest in science and sports, combined with her humanitarian efforts during the Great Depression, made her a formidable figure. Lou's legacy is one of intellect, compassion, and pioneering spirit. Today at the threshold of a great event, both in the life of the United Nations and in the life of mankind. In the annals of American history, few names shine as brightly as Eleanor Roosevelt's. A paragon of strength, resilience, and progressive activism, Eleanor transformed the role of the First Lady 
during her husband Franklin D. Roosevelt's presidency. Born in 1884, she championed civil rights, women's issues, and humanitarian causes, earning her a permanent spot in the hearts of many. Eleanor's end came on November 7, 1962. A fighter till the end, she left behind a legacy of courage and compassion. Who can forget her powerful words, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. She remains an enduring symbol of empowerment and grace. Rest peacefully, Eleanor. The first lady that is and the first lady to be talk over plans for moving day. Mamie Eisenhower, who brought a touch of post-war glamour to the White House, died on November 1, 1979, following a stroke. Known for her distinctive fashion sense and dedication to her husband, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Mamie was a popular first lady who embraced the public with her warmth and charm. Her commitment to veterans' affairs and military families highlighted her tenure, endearing her to many Americans. expresses thanks for herself and her two children for the nearly 800,000 messages received since her husband's assassination. Imagine the glamour and resilience of a woman who redefined elegance in the White House, Jackie Kennedy. Born Jacqueline Bouvier, she became the iconic first lady beside President John F. Kennedy. Her charm and sophistication captivated America during a time of significant change and turmoil. After the tragic assassination of her husband in 1963, Jackie navigated life with grace and fortitude. She later married Aristotle Onassis, a wealthy Greek shipping magnate, and continued to live under the public eye. Jackie was more than just a stylish figure. She was a cultural icon who championed the arts and historic preservation. Sadly, in 1994, she succumbed to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Her passing marked the end of an era, yet her legacy continues to inspire. Isn't it fascinating how Jackie, through her trials, left an indelible mark on American history? Rising at midnight to scramble eggs for his friends, running his congressional office, working as his business manager. Claudia Ladybird Johnson was more than just the first lady. She was a powerhouse who transformed the role into one of active political engagement and environmental advocacy. Remember the Highway Beautification Act? That was her brainchild, making America's roadsides greener and prettier. Born in 1912, she married Lyndon B. Johnson, who would go on to become the 36th President of the United States. Lady Bird passed away on July 11, 2007, due to natural causes related to her advanced age. She was 94. Her death marked the end of an era of grace and activism that influenced the nation's landscape and its perception of the First Lady's role. She left behind a legacy of natural beauty and civic responsibility, forever remembered for her dedication to the environment and her unwavering support for her husband's political career. Isn't it fascinating how one person's vision can change the face of a nation? Lady Bird Johnson's life was a testament to that. was at once a traditional first lady and a power player. Imagine, if you will, a time when the world was captivated by the grace and charm of Nancy Reagan. Born Anne Frances Robbins in 1921, she was not just a first lady, she was a symbol of strength and elegance. You might remember her from the Just Say No campaign against drug abuse in the 1980s. Shall we go back to the Hollywood of the 1950s? That's where Nancy was a star, before becoming the wife of Ronald Reagan, 
the 40th President of the United States. Nancy Reagan passed away on March 6, 2016, at the age of 94. Her death was attributed to congestive heart failure, a common ailment among the elderly. This dignified woman, who stood by her husband through thick and thin, left a legacy of advocacy and devotion. Her final resting place is beside her beloved Ronnie at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in California. Her life was a testament to unwavering loyalty and grace, traits that will always be remembered. We've taken a heartfelt journey through the final chapters of the lives of our nation's first ladies, honoring their incredible legacies. If you found their stories as touching and inspiring as we did, please subscribe to our channel for more captivating historical insights. Your support helps us continue sharing these important narratives. Thank you for watching, and remember to cherish the stories that shape our history.